Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. In this video, I want to make a new shop stool. Uh, I want to try a joinery technique of using the long dovetails, and I'll attach the legs to the top using that. I've got the router bit, and I'll use it on my router table. Uh, over the weekend, I glued up some pieces of white oak, and uh, it's a pretty gnarly white oak. There's some really figured grain, but lots of checks and everything. I used a lot of epoxy to fill in the, 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 all the cracks and the checks, and I'm not sure. I th There's about 10 varieties of white oak around here. Uh, I think some are more desirable than others. I think this is on the lower end of that scale. Uh, but it also, being white oak, this weighs a ton, and uh, I'm going to have to cut this down. But let's get started. Uh, the first thing I need to do is scrape all the epoxy off the, the bottom side of this top. That's quite a workout, and uh, the scraper works pretty good. I know I can run it through my planer, but I don't want it to go through the dust collection because I used the sawdust to throw around the trees, and I don't want my goats, Bert and Ernie, to start eating it. I'm gonna throw a quick sanding on this and put some mineral spurts on it, and we'll have a little sneak peek on what it'll look like. I think it's really nice. All right, that's enough fooling around. Um, I'm gonna keep the legs or the sides as long as possible. So I'm gonna just, I think, flush these up. In the end, I think it'll be about 18 inches tall, which is the same height as, say, a coffee table. And who doesn't like to sit on a coffee table? Here's the bit I'm using. It's a Freud seven degree bit. It's got a seven eighths cutting height and a three quarter inch cutting diameter. If I can never get it out of this holder. And I'm bleeding. Ugh. I got it. I spilt a little blood in the process, uh, but finally just a pair of pliers. I've used my ruler just to line up the fence with the bottom of the cutting surface. I moved the fence out a little bit after the first cut just so I'd have a bit more of a shoulder. And on a side note, if you're gonna make yourself a router table, uh, this one has two locking casters and the other two are not locking. So I tend to push it around a bit when I'm routing stuff. So it's not a very stable platform. I got the dovetail parts done on the leg. I need to concentrate on the top now and the female part. Uh, and as long as I don't mess with the height of the bit in the table router, I think I'll be okay. So we just need to keep the kerf on the table saw uh, just a bit narrower than this, and I can let the router table do the rest. I think these dovetails are good to go, but I still have to think about the stretcher and then I'm gonna give it some shape and see if we can cut some weight off of this thing.
There you go, the stool's complete. Uh, it wasn't a big project. Uh, I just really wanted to try the dovetail uh, technique of joining the legs and the top together. I think I'll use it again. I did screw up though, because I intended the legs to be even with the top and just kind of mold them into the top. Uh, but doing the dovetail technique was easier than me learning how to read a tape measure, and I cut these too narrow and to fix it, I just put a bit of walnut in there. And I think actually the fix looks better than how I originally intended it to be. And I really like that. So I will probably use that detail in the future. I used a Danish oil to put the finish on it. Uh, I don't necessarily like the way it ambers the wood. Um, and I'm going to do a, probably another stool in the future at some point, And I want to use the Danish uh, soap finish. But I would have used it on here. But... The problem is that that grain is so nice, uh, and I think the oil really brings it out. Let's see here. There we go. Not a complicated project. It's a good height. Still weighs a ton, but nice and solid. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.